All right, welcome back, Lethal Gamers. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to play Marquise de Cat. So this is Root. Those of you who don't know, Root is an awesome little strategy game. Um, basically, there's a few different factions. We're just doing a quick one-on-one -on -one Marquise versus the Eerie here, and we'll show you the basics of how to play Marquise de Cat. So the first thing you do is you have to place your keep. Uh, you have to place it in one of the four corners. We're just going to go down here seems like a reasonable enough spot um so basically the key to and where to build our sawmill we're going to stick our sawmill right here and let's put a workshop right here because then we can craft this little bunny guy um build a recruiter we'll build a recruiter out here so it's a little further out and we can get the troops mobilized so key to marquise here is you you place your keep in one of the corners to start and then you get to place a sawmill a workshop and a recruiter the sawmill every turn you generate wood what you can do with wood is build more stuff uh, the workshop you can use the workshop to craft different cards so you'll see here it shows a, a boot and a one victory point okay so if I have a workshop in a bunny clearing then I can craft this and that's great and then I get a victory point uh, the recruiter recruits um, soldiers warriors as they're called so we'll get there but we start the board we start on the board with one warrior on every space except for the one in the uh, far right corner from our keep and you'll see why in a second as we play the eerie place that places their starting point on the opposite side of the board as we do and they're going to place a roost and they start with six warriors so the key for us yeah so we're going to craft this we might as well get ourselves a victory point i'll take it the key what we're going to do basically as marquise you get points by building stuff. These are all victory points. So we just want to build a ton of stuff. Uh, you can only build when you own a clearing. So if there's more uh, buildings or warriors from a different faction in that clearing, I can't build anything there. But as long as I own the clearing, I can build items there as long as I have the wood to do so. So now that I crafted that card, I can continue the turn. Now I get to choose an action. So you can see here, Marquise's actions. I'm allowed to battle, march, recruit, build, or overwork. Overwork gives me wood. Um, so, what we're going to do to start, let's just build. And we're going to try to spiral, right? So we want to build a sawmill. We build a sawmill, now we've got two sawmills, so now we'll get two wood per turn. And we're also going to... We're going to overwork. We're going to spend a card spend a card to overwork get ourselves some wood and now we can build again what we'll do here is let's build something here you'll see now the the cost of things increases right so the cost of the sawmill goes up so i can't build another sawmill i can build a recruiter so let's build a recruiter okay, i've got two recruiters so we'll be able to recruit a variety of uh warriors every turn you do draw cards at the end of your turn. So, okay, so now the Eerie's getting going. So how the Eerie works, they have to do certain actions every turn. So they're recruiting two. Uh, they get to move once, and then uh, they have to build once. You can see they moved in here. They own that clearing. They built a roost. So good for them. Okay, we can't craft anything because we only have the one workshop, and we would need two workshops in a bunny, bunny clearing to uh, craft that. So we'll go right on here. We now have two wood because we add that second sawmill. So we're going to build another sawmill. And let's go right on here. And build another sawmill so we get more wood next turn. Okay. And then we'll want to protect that from the Eerie because they might want to work their way in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to recruit. We get two warriors for that. And then uh, let's march. So we can march, and what we're going to do here is we're going to move him to here. Marching, you get two moves, so I'll move him there, and then I'll move these guys here. We'll move just two of them. We'll leave one behind, right? One behind to protect. And now we're kind of like guarding this sawmill so that the Eerie can't come in here and snag it next turn. They'll probably move down here, is what they'll probably do. They recruit a couple. Yep, and they move down there, and they're going to place a roost. They might also battle. They don't. 
They put another roost there, though. You can see they're prepping here to uh, place a roost. So I've got three wood now. I'm thinking I probably want to build another sawmill. We're just going to try to spiral and get tons of wood every turn here, right? So now I'll recruit. Great. And we're going to march. We're going to get our troops in position so that they can uh, defend some of our territory here. So we'll march here. And then what we'll do here is we'll march here, but we'll only bring... Let's just bring two of them. We'll leave two behind. And now we're going to find out where the Eerie wants to go next. The Eerie has to do more and more things every turn. They're recruiting a couple. They're going to fight us. They have to fight this turn, so they're going to battle. Yep. Okay. Things to note in battling is when you attack, you get the higher of the two dice rolls, and then you can only hit as many times as troops you have. So they kill my one troop, that's okay. I'm not overly concerned about it. I could. Um, I'm going to burn this. So what one thing you can do as Marquise de Cat is you can uh, use your cards. After you get killed, you can use them, and it recoups your troop back where your keep is. That's one nice ability that you have access to. All right, so now we've got four woods, right? And I could build another sawmill. I might build another sawmill. But what I think I want to do... Hmm, let's see, what do I do here? The Eerie is going to have to build a roost next turn. They're going to have to recruit more people. What makes sense? They're going to have to build a roost. Well, they can't build a roost here. I'm defending it well. They could build it here. They could build it here could build it here however if I build myself let's do this let's build hmm what do I want to do right I'm going to build right here, and I'm going to build a recruiter. Great. And then I've still got two wood left, so I'm also going to build a workshop here. And then what I will do is I will march this guy here. And this guy here. And we'll see how well defended that is. We'll see how this works out. What does the Eerie do? They add another recruit and they add another build. So they actually have the. Oh no, they didn't. Oh, they crafted something. All right, I got the got the symbols wrong. All right, so they're gonna go in there. Okay, and they're gonna fight. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a bummer. They get three hits on me. So three is the highest you can roll. They get three hits on me. That really stinks. So what happens is they get rid of uh, my, um, my sawmill too, which is a bummer. All right. I could use this, but I don't think I really need to. Uh can't craft anything, so now what are we going to do? Well, I think what we'll do is we'll recruit. Definitely want some more people. And I'm going to build... Here. I'll build another recruiter, actually. A double recruiter on this location. You can see I'm already up to 15 victory points. They're at 13. Um, and then 
what can I do? Let's... Let's battle here. Why not, right? Let's hit him. See what we can do. See if we get a good roll. We do. So we get three hits off on him. We take out two warriors. And we get to clear out their roost as well. It's nice for us. That's cool. It gives you a victory point to clear that. Then discard for a... Yeah. Let's do that. Let's recover our soldier. Why not? Great. Next turn, let's see what the Eerie does. I have to discard. Let's discard. Let's just discard this one. You can only hold five cards at the end of your turn. Great. Okay, they're adding an extra move decree. So they're going to be recruiting a lot, moving a lot. Only battling once. Yes, they're going to move there. They're going to probably try to fight me so that they can build a roost. Okay. Hopefully they lose. No, they don't. Wow. That was a really good roll for them. Three to nothing, huh? I'm going to save those. Uh, I'm going to save those warriors. Why not? We'll save them. You get to save them both with just one card, which is actually really nice. Okay. Let's craft this, get ourselves a victory point. There's no shame in that. Alright, what to do now? We're going to have to build something. So. We don't own... Any more clearings to build in, do we? Oh, we can build here. Let's build here. Let's build a sawmill. We'll get more wood. We'll get more and more wood. All right, and then we're going to recruit. Okay, so you can see this. We're like loaded up on troops, so they're going to have to do some sort of big assault on me just to... Uh, get a clearing clear enough to build anything on, which is good. Now what I want to do is, do I want to attack them or do I just want to defend? I think I just want to defend. So I will put this guy, I'll put one of them there. And I'll put one of them there. Let's see how this pans out. The goal here... Do I want to spend this? I think I might. For one extra move? One extra move, I can just recruit a bunch more people, right? Hmm. Now you know what? That's okay. I'll do it next turn. I'll do it next turn. I think it'll be more valuable next turn. Okay, draw a couple cards. Nice, I got an ambush card, so that's really nice. Very nice to get an ambush card. So you can see, they're having to do more and more actions every time. They're going to have to battle twice, which is fine, but they're going to have to find a spot to build a roost. Hopefully. Yeah, look. Um, they played... Yeah, you know what? This just ends this just ends the battle immediately. Boom. Done. That just ends the battle. So that's good. Maybe not the optimal time to use it, but better than nothing. If I do that. Cool, they entered turmoil, right? So what happens is when the Eerie can't complete all the actions according to the decree, they enter turmoil. And they basically have to have a new leader. They get rid of a bunch of stuff, they lose some victory points, and uh, then they start from uh, square one again. I mean, they keep their roosts and everything, but all good. Great, so. We're gonna play. We have nowhere else we can build, right? So. What I'm gonna do is recruit. And then we're going to march. 
what we'll do is we'll pull I'll cancel that. We will pull these guys here. We always want to leave like three behind because three is the maximum hit point somebody can do. And then we're going to move these guys here. Move four. And then we're going to battle. Try to hit this guy. Hopefully we get a good roll. All right, 2v2. That's okay. That's okay. Doesn't kill us. Okay, so now I got no more troops there. We are pretty well defended. And do I want to recover those guys? Honestly? Honestly, do I want to recover those guys? You know what? Yeah, I will. I will recover them. And then I don't have to recruit next turn. You see, now I've got all my troops deployed, so there's no point in recruiting next turn. That'll be good. Do I want to spend this bird card? Take one more action. Hmm. I think I do. I want to spend this and I want to use it to march. I'm going to move one here. And then I'm going to move one here. So I'm defending with a three, defending with a three. That makes it less likely for them to be able to uh, take me out and do anything about it. All right, so they're adding two cards to their decree. They're going to move twice, or they're going to recruit twice, move once, and battle once. They're not going to build a roost this turn. Okay. And they've entered turmoil. How come? They couldn't, uh, they could not battle. They couldn't battle. They didn't move to the appropriate place to battle. They enter turmoil again. They lose points again. And we now go from here. So. We can... Choose where to place my wood. It's fine. We'll just place it all here. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. We'll play and choose an action. Here's what we'll do here, right? So we're going to battle and this clearing. As long as we roll a one, we get rid of their roost. Perfect. Get rid of the roost. Now we can build something for ourselves. It's very nice. Then we're gonna build in here. And let's build ourselves we don't really need another recruiter. Let's build ourselves a workshop. Great. Get two more victory points. That's wonderful. And let's do some of this. Hmm. Cancel that. I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Move three here. Then I want to move three here. We'll attack this clearing next turn. That's the strategy. I have an ambush card. Ambush cards are good. Uh, I'm never really going to craft that, so we'll get rid of that. It needs three mouse, uh, three mouse workshops to craft. Not really something I'm probably ever gonna do. So now, if you look at the Aries decree, they have to move three times, and uh, fight once. So that's fine. So they'll do that. We'll do that there. They're gonna fight three v three. Yeah, let's use ambush. Deal two hits immediately. The two of them are dead now. Now we roll the dice. The most they can do is hit one of my guys. And they do, but I hit one of their guys as well. Oh, the commander ability gave them plus one hit. That's all right. Or Roos, so they get some points there. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. We'll add some wood here. We'll add some wood here. No big deal. 
Uh, do we want to craft this? Yeah, let's craft that. Get a victory point. Okay. Here's what we will do. We're going to have to march. We're going to want to march. And we're going to want to fight. And we're going to want to craft. So I don't think I want to recruit. Let's march two. I know this is risky because I'm leaving this one exposed. And then let's march two. Cool. And we're going to battle here. Clear out the roost. Theory gets points for every roost they have. Wow, just got it. Theory gets points for every roost they have at the end of the turn. So it's important you want to get rid of those roosts. Okay, so now that's gone. I get a point for clearing it, and then we're gonna build in this clearing. And let's build Orc Shop. Great, so I got 28 points now, almost there, almost to the victory. And I got a bird, I got two birds. Two birds is good. I can, uh, I can use birds for extra actions on my turn. We're gonna do one battle this turn. And not gonna build a roost. Yeah, I got plenty of defense here, so I'm not really worried about it. Wow. Look at that though. Good thing they don't battle twice. Good thing they don't battle twice, or I'd be in trouble. They get victory points. And let's see. What makes sense here? I need to build something. So here's what we're gonna do. Not gonna craft that. Yeah, this is fine. We'll add, add our wood here. Add our wood here. Great. I, yeah, I, I don't wanna craft. So what I'm going to do here is move. I'm going to march. I'll march you here. I need two of you to go there. They need to own this clearing to be able to craft there, right? So I need all five of them there because he's got three plus one. So now I've got five versus his four, so now I own it. Now I can build here. And anything will do the trick. So let's just build a workshop. And that's going to get me over the 30 mark, and the first player to 30 wins. That's how you win as Marquise de Cat against the Eerie. A little 1v1 strategy. Like I showed, you just kind of spiral with uh, getting a lot of sawmills and getting a lot of wood early on. Get some recruitment stations, and then you can just kind of like try to own the board. The other important thing when you're playing the Eerie is just focus on. Um, trying to make them go into turmoil, trying to make sure, like you noticed, I was like, all right, let me set up a blockade so they can't build more roosts, and then they'll go into turmoil. Perfect. Worked out. All right. Well, that's the trick. I'll catch you guys next time.